and welcome to another episode of News Bites with Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. I'm Stephanie Kessner and today we are at the Neighbors Place brand new food market in Wausau and I'm here with da Donna Ambrose. Donna, thanks so much for having us today. Welcome, we're happy to have you. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about the history of the Neighbors Place? How long have you guys been serving the Wausau community? Sure, we've been around since 1992 and it started out as a grassroots organization to help our Hmong refugees who were migrating to our community and help them get settled and have resources. And over time, it grew and it's evolved into different things over the years, but probably in the last 20-ish years, it became a food pantry. And we um, are continuing to evolve and now we're here as a market. Yeah, so when did you move into this space and why did you feel like the move was necessary? We moved here in February of this year of 2023 and it was very necessary. We were in a very old building uh, that wasn't on a bus route. It was challenging to keep the food ambient and safe. Um, a lot of challenges with an older building, you know, and as a nonprofit, we prefer to spend money on engaging programs, building our programming, reaching more people, instead of spending our money repairing the roof or the ceiling tiles or things like that. So this was the perfect solution. Yeah, and then how did Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin play a role in helping you guys move into this new space? Oh my gosh, um, so much. So as we were designing the space, you know, we knew that Little Shoots Warehouse was relatively new. So we reached out to management there and got some expert advice on, on vendors and what to look for and how to design the space because, you know, we didn't want to recreate the wheel. So it's kind of a, a mini little shoot, if you will. Yeah. And also with all of our, the food preparation, the move, all of those things, you know, everybody there is easily accessible to us and quick to answer our questions. Yeah, so Donna, can you talk a little bit about how the, the state funding, so through DADCAP, how that funding um, helped su supply these upgrades? Right, so through the state funding, we were able to get like what you see behind you, our walk-in coolers with the glass doors. Um, during COVID, there was a huge uptick in people needing groceries delivered to their home, especially seniors and especially in rural pockets of our community. So we saw the need quickly for a small cargo van. We were able to secure one through that funding as well. And it was a huge benefit to us because it was just constantly changing during the pandemic. And now it is a need that wasn't being met and we're growing that program and scaling it up. And we couldn't have done that without the state funding resources and the expertise that we got from Feeding America along the way. Yeah. And I wanted to ask too, so offering delivery is very unique. So what made you guys want to offer that as part of the pantry as well? We knew it wasn't being offered in our community. There are meal programs, but there wasn't people delivering groceries. And we knew how to do it safely and to get the information we needed and to do it in a way that, you know, remained everyone's confidentiality and to do it quickly. So we thought we were the best position to do it and we did and we've just been able to grow it from there. So have you seen an increase in need since moving to this new Oh yes, location? yes we have, yes. And it was interesting because two things happened. So during the pandemic, we were safe, we stayed outdoors, we did outdoor distribution. And unfortunately, when you do that, you can't provide your guests with a lot of choice. Yeah. So we had a very well curated box with a lot of variety and that was really wonderful. However, it was a lot of food and for like, for example, a senior citizen of a household of one or two, it was way too much food, it was too heavy. Right. So when we moved here, we had this huge uptick in brand new households who had never been here before. And talking to our guests, we learned quickly that many of them were waiting for us to open because the food was, it was too much food, too heavy, and they wanted to be able to choose and they needed less food. And so it made perfect sense. Um, also, people were very excited about this market concept and the way it looks and had, you know, had been coming to us because two things were happening. During COVID, there was the emergency food share allotment that was being distributed. And so many people were doing okay, uh, not all, but then when that went away, now there was people that were, you know, needed our help desperately and that has just been growing exponentially. So all of those things plus the economy, you know, cost of goods hit people's pocketbooks and it was like a perfect storm. So our need has been growing, um, but you know, we have the, the resources and the people to help continue to meet that need. Yeah, and then uh, you were talking about the market too. I just love the space. It feels like you're in a normal grocery yeah, store. Yeah. So how did you come up with the concept of this design? Yeah, so we had, you know, we'd given it a lot of thought. And one thing I've learned in the years I've been doing nonprofit work is that when you have beautiful spaces, people are more inclined to use it, you know? And oftentimes, nonprofits have a scarcity mindset. 
they think, you know, we, we can't use our money for this, we've got to do this and that. But really, you need to invest in your space to make fe people feel welcome, to make people feel respected and dignified. And the better it looks, the more inclined people will be to use it, which is the end goal, right? We don't want people to not come. There's nothing worse than seeing people feel embarrassed or humiliated because they're at a food pantry. And it shouldn't feel like that, you know? It should feel like a warm, welcoming service. And to us, this is just another resource available to people in our community that need it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of News Bites of Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. And remember, together, we are solving hunger.